in one of my recent videos, I tried out the tank top hack where you like twist it and make a cute little crop top out of it. But now I saw a girl doing it with t-shirts and it looked a lot more big chest approved. So let's see if it's true or not. If you don't know the hack, I explained it in part one, so go check that out. I'm just gonna be trying it out with this basic black t-shirt that has just ties on the side. Guys, this one is so much more cuter than the tank top one. The tank top one, I feel like I'd only wear it to like the beach, but this one I feel like would be super cute for like a party or something. Should I see if it works on a long sleeve next? Tie it up your bra shop showing whenever you wear halter tops like these. Don't worry, I've got the best hack for you. Okay, first unhook the straps like this. Tighten the straps as much as you can. Then you're gonna hook these together like that. And just pull this part around your neck like that. There you go, no strap showing at all. I also just posted a bra hack for square neck top, so if you have that issue, go check that out and like and follow for more. Ladies, if you have a larger chest or broader shoulders and always run into this issue with any like cardigan or button up shirt, I've got the best hack for you. Okay, first step is unbutton the second and fourth button. Then you're gonna button these two together and the other two together like this. I personally love this hack, it's super flattering and I love the little singe effect it has on the top. Such an easy hack, let me know if you try it out and like and follow for more hacks like these. In one of my recent videos, I talked about a flattering bikini hack for my larger chested ladies, but now let me show you the perfect hack for my smaller chested ladies. For my smaller chested ladies who want more of a push-up, this bikini hack does the exact job. Instead of just wearing your top normal like this, try this hack. Okay, so grab your bikini top, flip it upside down like this, and pull them apart. Then just put this part over your head like this. Then just tie these two straps together at the back. Untie these and you're gonna crisscross them like that. And there you go. So obviously the more tighter you tie this, the more push-up you'll get. Like and follow for more hacks like these. Secret way to tuck in your shirt, this one's for the boys. I'm getting a lot of comments to do some men's styling hacks, but it's kind of difficult because I'm not a guy, so I'm gonna do my best, but I did find a really good um, shirt hack for you guys. The guys tend to just like throw in their shirt when they're like trying to tuck in their shirts and it just creates like baldiness and is not flattering. So instead of doing that, first step is to pretend there's a line where your pants start or where your waistband is. Do you have your imaginary line, grab your shirt and just start rolling it up like this. Then once you reach your imaginary line, you're gonna have this and you're just gonna tuck this part into your pants. I'll show you how it looks. Like that. See, no extra bulkiness and it's a lot more flattering and you can button it up, unbutton it, do whatever you want. If you try it out, then do at me. I wanna see how it looks on you guys and like and follow for more. Men's fashion can sometimes be tricky, so today I'm gonna go over the five easiest ways you can instantly increase your fashion game. Most of these things you probably won't need to spend money on because you'll probably have them in your closet. Number one, accessorizing. More specifically, jewelry, so rings, necklaces, bracelets, watches. Really small details in outfits make it look 10 times better and more stylish. Don't worry, if you're not into men's jewelry, then throw on something like a hat, sunglasses, an Apple watch. They'll make your outfit look a lot better. Tip number two, layering. I feel like not many men do this because they don't know how, but it's actually really simple. The most important to layering is having a nice jacket. So for example, a flannel over shirt or a natural jacket. For what you wear underneath, that depends on your personal preferences and what the weather is. If it's cold outside, then throw on a hoodie like this. If it's hotter outside, then throw on a t-shirt like this. Tip number three, cupping your pants, which literally costs zero dollars. In my opinion, this is something that looks really good, so I definitely recommend it. It's also a really easy way to show off your shoes. Should I make this into a series? Like and follow for part two, but I'll be showing the other two tips. 